elephants has been in her force and then it came last night it raided her field and they have destroyed much more on the other side that's where they have destroyed much more and uh, she even tried to take all uh, the leftovers because uh, there's nothing left more so there's nothing she can do but this elephant they don't come every day so they come maybe after a week or after two weeks You know, it has been a very hard time, especially for farmers, because they didn't have any other forms of chasing these elephants. If you fence around your field with uh, uh, the, the, the bushes, it gets destroyed very easily by elephants because you just walk over it. You know, elephants are very clever. They are very smart. You do something with them uh, for 10, 20 years, they learn that, and then they will not get scared. You come and then you clap your hands. Yes, nine out of ten it can work, uh, but uh, always they will learn. They say, "Oh, now he's clapping hands to me. It's time for me to dance." The Natural Selections came up with this big project, which now involves in all the farmers, of which we have got an ongoing project now by fencing around fields for farmers, and then it is being electrified. So that is to try to reduce. Uh, the conflict between human and wildlife. The farmers they bring in the poles, which are natural poles, but these poles they don't uh, cut from live trees. They look for trees which elephants have broken down and then they will bring them along here. Then they will put them, the farmers put them by themselves. And then now, uh, uh, through natural selections and partnering with Elephant for Africa, they will be helping with electrification of this. So working closely with the farmers allows us to you know, create a situation where all those that can work, work well. And if they work well, the farmers are able to subsist and live off of their, their hard work farming this. This is the solar station. And then uh, the top here, these are the solar panels, which acts more like a roof. And uh, have got two batteries here. And this is the energizer. And uh, the energizer uh, supplies uh, electricity uh, to the fence. So this project started early this year. I'm really happy with it. If tourists are traveling to Botswana, they're not only going there for leisure, they also give back to the communities. This will be an, a sustainable thing which will be in forever. Uh, that's what I really like with Natural Selection. It's a very good uh, initiative indeed. <laughs>